Hey guys, what it is, is your girl Cadillac. Yes, I am Cadillac Dixon. I'm the Draw My Life Prison Wife. I'm the legally blind artist that is rapping and painting for justice. I am... <laughs> Open, girl! <laughs> to see justice before all fades to black. <laughs> yes, it's your girl Cadillac. Anyways, the whole fade to black part, basically, this whole world fading to black, girl. <laughs> but the whole real actual meaning of the before it fades to black is because I am, like I said, a legally blind artist, but um, I'm losing my eyesight. If you ever notice, this eye right here going to be, I don't see nothing but watercolors <laughs> and um, a, a few like vague shapes and things like that. Um, both eyes are basically, they both have, um, I have something called keratoconus and I will require a cornea transplant. Um, when the time comes, this eye is basically rupturing. It is almost to the point of rupturing is, let me show you. I think I showed you in a, you see, I, I don't know if you can see how it pokes out. Well, anyway, it's, it's going to eventually just keep poking, protruding, protruding, protruding until it bursts. Um, I was supposed to illustrate that with the boiled egg, how the doctor um, explained it to me. It's like a boiled egg. Um, if you squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, and it eventually pops open, that's what my eye is basically doing. So, girl, before that happened, can we get my man's home? Like, you really want to have me out here by myself? Can't see nothing, like no thing at all. How, how I'm going to fight then? Like, how, girl, what am I going to do at that point? Like, how I'm going to do my little cute little pictures? Like, I'm I'm an artist. Like, what am I, how, how I'm going to do my artwork? Like, girl, that's why it'd be so detrimental that I get off this freaking workshop. Because how much time I really got to be this artist, girl. Like, for real. Like, no, I want my roses while I'm live. I don't want y'all waiting till I'm gone, passed away. Then y'all, oh, she was such a great artist. And do, do not play any of my music. Because y'all had the chance. Y'all had the chance to play my music and such. Girl. Go play that video linked in the in the description box. Net bones and collard greens. Yes, yo girl, Cadillac was the hottest female rapper out Orlando. But the real true reason my rap career didn't take off is because I was using it to try to bring attention to my husband's wrongful conviction. And I was trying to make change with my music. I wasn't just doing like I had to say. It's not just music. It's a movement. Back then, I didn't know I, over these years and meeting so many different people, reading so many different stories, um, coming in contact with so many dis different situations, I realized that it is not just my husband who's wrongfully convicted. There are a lot of people. And what they have on the books I believe that's a that's a small, 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 small number because those are the ones that have actually um, have been exonerated. But do you know how many lie behind those prison doors that may never be exonerated? How many were on the road? And we're gone. Oh my gosh, y'all! I was watching this documentary about um, the alleged, you know, people that outed Malcolm X, and how they exonerated them. Like basically, after that happened, it was like, "Is these dudes here?" And now it's coming back years upon years upon, like lifetimes later, that these are not the guys that actually outed Malcolm X. And it was one of them, he's out, and he's like, I don't know, I, don't, I guess he's not even really, the way he was responding in the video, like in the documentary, he's not even bitter about all his freaking darn life they took away from him. He's like just grateful for the time he has now, right? Um, which I, I do believe, like, 
I don't know. It's gonna be a catch twenty twenty. I'm bitter that y'all done took this my my husband life. Like I'm, y'all done took the best years of his life and my life. I've done this wrongful conviction with him. But I still, girl, if you let him go today, we still can salvage some time. Like he said the other day, he was upset because you know our granddaughter. He missed the birth of her last year, and now she's soon approaching. The, she's going to be one already. So he already missed our daughter's first steps and first words. And here it is. He's going to miss the next generation. It's crazy. It's like a never ending cycle. And by then, Princess could have had her own baby by the time he come home. Like, that's just too much time for a crime where you don't have no evidence. You don't have anything. Nobody was shot. Nobody was hurt, injured in any way. Everybody left that scene the way they came to the scene. So how are you giving him so much time? Like, it doesn't make sense. But anyways, um, in that Malcolm X thing, like, they were exonerated. Two of them, I believe, were exonerated after death. Or it could have been one. I can't remember. But it was it was like three of them. One is still alive. One is in the grave. Congratulations, you're you're exonerated, but you did you took your life, but okay. Like, girl. So that was the whole purpose in me doing my music. So though I had to do some little fun songs like Net Bones and Collard Greens, which still had a meaning in it, meant hey, I'm big bone, but okay, there's somebody if you don't like me, there's somebody out there who do like big bone did women. Like, let's not have our self-esteem all the way down to the ground because we're not like super like skinny and stuff. So that video as well had meaning. I can't make music without a meaning. But the main purpose in my music was to break my husband's wrongful conviction story and others. Once my husband is free, this has become my life's journey. I do have a magazine. I'm a graphic designer. Girl, I graduated in the wrong, wrong, wrong time. But I, I mean, it's the wrong time to me, but God has the bigger plan. Maybe it was the right time. He already knew that this is, you was going to graduate during 2020 and stuff like that and get thrown off your freaking darn rocker. And you just going to be at home just pursuing YouTube and getting your husband home tooth and nail. So maybe that's how it was supposed to be. But a college project of mine um, to lay out a magazine actually became a prisoner family magazine that I created. And I just have one issue of this magazine. The magazine I'm going to have, I, I, I want to make it easier for the next who's wrongful, wrongfully convicted for them to break their loved one's story. This has been hell for me. I mean, I really wanted to live my life as well. Like, it's so many things in my life. I do have a video of the 10 things I had to give up to be with an inmate. But we don't even call them inmates no more. We call them incarcerated citizens. I have a three-part video about that. So it's really 30 goddamn things, girl, that I gave up to be with the inmate. But... I mean, and people talk about me. People talk about me bad, girl. I could read. I'm legally blind, but I could still read, girl. I could read like this. I'd be all up on the screen. <laughs> but they, oh, dumb girl. You can't find nobody free. Girl, I, pl I found plenty men free. But that doesn't make him my soulmate. Like, girl, we just interchanging soulmates. Like, I can't meet another Marcello Jackson. He, he's, he's one in a million. So I have to fight for that one in a million. Like, I'm never going to meet another person like him. I have met other men. I have been, like, girl, the, it ain't nothing out there in them streets. Like, Missy told you long time ago, girl. But Beyonce had told Missy, girl. So they fought me for staying and fighting for him instead of just letting him go. Like, how, if you think about it, if that's the mentality of the majority if a person goes to prison, let's assume he's guilty. Assume without finding out any facts. So let's assume he's guilty. Um, and let's just let him go. 
Okay, that's another one gone to the system. That's another one gone to the system. That's how they got so many of our black men in prison now. Like, we've put up no fight. Of course, there was no way they were going to come to all our homes and say, Hey, 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 give us your black man right now. Surrender the black man. Like, girl, they took them one by freaking one. And we didn't care. We, did, we didn't, we didn't, oh, that's a black man missing. Like, black man going missing, girl. Missing. And we we put up no fuss, we put up no fight, one by one. So now it's a whole population of black men in them prison. That's where they at, girl. If they ain't in, in you know in the ground, I believe we should fight for our black men. I mean, and and it's not just black men; it's men of color as well. But the the highest rate is the black man, and I got a little rap about that, girl. This song called Statistically. Statistically, he done became what y'all thought he'd be. A young black male in jail on the streets. Well, if this the game, it seems like it was rigged up to me. He yeah, a massive fiance, and don't lie to me. Now, statistically, I done became what they thought I'd be. A young single black mother with no degree. Well, if this the game, it seems like it was rigged up to me. He yeah, massive fiance, and don't lie to me. Now from the get go, they told him that he couldn't be none. He wouldn't amount to none. Look at him now, he exactly what they told him, like they predestined him to be. Statistically, the epitome. He of these gutter grimy streets, he wears his pants down to the floor, cause that's all he know. Ain't like his, her father was there to tell, or maybe show him now he's a player, pimp, a gangster, and everything in between. But can you really actually blame him? The streets then chased off his dreams. You see, the streets is his reality show. And he's the star. He gets the money, the bling, the women, the fancy cars. But somebody please tell him the ending. Because I don't think he knows the ground of jail for 20 is how it goes. See, when a baby is born, his mind is just like clay. You got to mold it and tell him that, baby, it'll be okay. You got to tell Tell them that he is a king and women's queens. You got to tell them to never give up on his dreams. Now, statistically, he done became what y'all thought he'd be. A young black male in jail on the streets. Well, if this the game, it seems like it was rigged up to me. He am massive fiancés and don't lie to me. Yeah, it's your girl Cadillac. But no, I'm not letting my man go. I'm not letting my black man. No, if he was a, I mean, even if, girl, okay, if he wasn't no good black man, then I pop, and he was still wrongfully convicted. I wouldn't be with him. I wouldn't. I would fight for him possibly, but I would have just, you know, girl. I'm looking for my good, good man, right? He's a good man and he's wrongfully convicted. So I cannot leave him. I mean, there is a, a such thing as me fighting for him and not being with him. You know, that could be possible. But I am with him because he's my soulmate. I even think about, um, people love to say in this situation, you know, when you take vows, for better or worse or whatever like that, um, to just leave them when the worst comes. But though we just took these vows that it was better or worse in prison, definitely. And then prison wrongfully is definitely one of the worst situations you could feel you could find your family in. Right. So also I, I think about my, my sister, my sister, she just passed away. It's almost coming up on a year, right? Um, she suffered from MS. And a lot of times, sickness ends a marriage. Now, when a person gets sick, and with my sister, she was bedridden. It was a lot going on. 
she at one point was married. She had two kids. Like she was everything. She was also a cosmetologist. She beautiful, beautiful woman. And when she went down, if who she wasn't, who she was with, like as in a significant other left her, how does that look? Like you left her at the the moment she really needs you. Like you wouldn't justify that. But with me, leaving my husband when he really needs me, it's justified all day long. Like 